described by the European Commission president today as the most promising COVID-19 vaccine so far. Ursula von der Leyen announced a deal to buy 300 million doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech effort. Experts here say the initial trial results for it are positive, but they want to see more data. There are currently around 200 vaccines in development, with just 11 in the final phase of clinical trials. The European Commission has been securing potential vaccines in advance on behalf of all EU member states. As well as the Pfizer deal, the Commission also has a contract with AstraZeneca and it has deals with Sanofi GSK, as well as Johnson & Johnson. And the European Commission said today that more of these types of contracts will come. Ireland will be allocated just over 1% of vaccines from the European portfolio and on this basis should receive 3.3 million doses from the Pfizer deal alone, enough to potentially vaccinate 1.6 million people. But no matter which gets over the line first, it could still be many months before a vaccine reaches the general population. Well, the vaccine would first be rolled out for use in high-risk individuals, healthcare workers, uh, people with underlying medical conditions and perhaps the older population. And then um, it would be ro ro rolled out to the general population. So if the vaccine is licensed, we'll say later this year or early next year, it could be given to the first individuals early in the new year and then rolled out to the general population in the middle of next year, probably. The Department of Health says no specific funding was set aside for COVID vaccines in the budget, but that funding will be forthcoming if one becomes available, and that it and the HSE are working to ensure the timely implementation of an immunisation programme. Laura Hogan, RTE News.